Hello guys, happy Halloween. Welcome to today's video. Today I bring you a nice review on this uh, new Acer Aspire laptop. This is the R11. This is very affordable and only $249 and you can use it as a tablet. Let's go ahead and start with this review right now. Arr! Okay, brothers, uh, it's Saturday, October 31st, Halloween. So here I am making my coffee. I have to have my coffee every day. I don't know about you. Uh, if you do, share with me what kind of coffee you like and how do you drink it. Uh, but I, I used to do only black and I started doing creamer again. I'm trying this uh, uh, milk, soy, uh, lactose uh, free, vanilla flavor uh, creamer. It actually tastes uh, pretty good, to be honest with you. And as far as the sugar, <laughs> I used to do the uh, fake sugar, but I'm back to the uh, regular sugar. Uh, but I like uh, mixing, you know, coffee with something else. So I'm gonna give it a try with this uh, cinnamon whiskey. Everybody knows this whiskey fireball. I'm not sure how it's gonna taste, but hey, why not? I'll give it a try. So to be honest with you, it actually tastes really, really good. I recommend to you guys, uh, you know, mix your coffee with something else. So uh, time now to uh, take a look at business here. So we have the uh, Acer Aspire R3131T. Uh, this is a new laptop that uh, came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, very, very affordable. So let's go ahead and start here with the uh, unboxing uh, price on this tablet or laptop believe it or not wow $249 really affordable price it's amazing you know to realize uh, how laptops uh, used to be so expensive uh, the whole tablet uh, concept when they came out about three years ago uh, anything, even the most affordable one was like $700. So now you can find a really decent system for only $249. So as you guys can see, we get the uh, basic things here, the uh, cord uh, and cables to uh, charge the battery on the tablet. Here's the tablet itself. And of course, you're gonna get the uh, paperwork, uh, warranty, instructions and all that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, tablet. Uh, this is the uh, blue color, to be honest with you, uh, different, something different. I'm not sure if, if uh, most people would like this color, but I think it looks uh, different, something nice. So here's a look at the opening the tablet. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this uh, plastic here. Uh, there is a keyboard, the mouse pad. The screen it looks super nice but let's go ahead and take a closer look now outside to highlight uh, the ports the material and all that so as far as the top of the uh, tablet there is some uh, pattern there some uh, uh, finish it, it offers a uh, kind of like good grip uh, see here in the back we see access to micro SD card that's a uh, really nice that uh, they included additional uh, memory or expansion uh, by a uh, micro SD card. Uh, right here on the uh, right side of the tablet, we see access to the uh, power cord, uh, power on and off uh, bottom, a couple of LED uh, lights, and there is a volume rocker. Uh, on the front of the tablet, we don't have anything. And as you guys can see, looking at the tablet by the front or from the sides, it actually looks uh, kind of like a thin profile. Uh, on the bottom of the tablet, we see two speakers. And we're gonna see later how good the sound from this uh, speaker is. Uh, there are a bunch of screws on the bottom of the tablet. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to open it or replace uh, memory or anything like that. Uh, here on the uh, left side, we see Ethernet port, a full-size HDMI 3.0 USB port, another USB port, and an audio jack. So take a look at that guys, uh, for $249, you get two full-size USB ports and one is a 3.0 and a full-size HDMI. Now here's a really cool feature of this tablet. It folds 360 degrees. 
So you can actually use this as a tablet. Take a look at that beautiful keyboard, full size keyboard. This is an 11.6 yeah, screen size. So you're gonna get the full size uh, keyboard. The mouse pad is actually pretty decent size also. And there's a look at the uh, screen, you know, like if you're using it as a tablet, really interesting concept. You know, a lot of people are not uh, probably willing to uh, carry two things around, unplug uh, or detach uh, the screen from the keyboard. So you have all in one here. You can use it as a laptop or you can use it as a, a tablet. Now, first thing, when you're going to turn on the tablet for the first time, it won't turn on uh, for the first time. You need to connect it to the uh, charger, as you can see here. Uh, once we see the light there that is charging, press on the uh, power button. There's a blue light and we should be able to turn on the screen. But the first time uh, when you're going to do the setup and all that, it's not going to turn on uh, unless you connect to the power. I think it's just because you have to go through the whole setup and all that. So uh, I'm going to be opening different things here just to show you guys, uh, you know, that the tablet is actually opening things are pretty quick. Uh, so you can see the speed and all that, uh, the performance. Uh, so in the meantime, let me uh, share with you guys uh, some important information here about the specs. Uh, so as I mentioned it before, uh, the model of this uh, tablet laptop it's the uh, Acer Aspire R3-131T now as far as uh, the processor it comes with an Intel processor Intel Celeron a dual core processor we have a 1.60 gigahertz with a max turbo speed of 2.16 gigahertz. That sounds pretty good. Take a look at that though. That kind of processor for uh, $249. <laughs> uh, system RAM, we're looking at two gigabytes. Uh, maximum memory expansion, only eight gigabytes. I believe that for the SD card. Uh, the hard drive size, it's a 32 gigabyte pretty small so that's one downside of this uh, tablet you know the hard drive is actually really small so as you're gonna start downloading applications and all that uh, installing applications uh, you're gonna run out of space but at least you can add 8 gigabytes with a micro SD card uh, screen size uh, 11.6 inches and as you guys can see right there the tablet offers uh, 365 days, one year uh, free of a full Microsoft Office. So that's actually really nice that they included that option. Uh, back to the specs, 11.6 uh, inches. Uh, we have a resolution of uh, 720p, uh, 1366 by 768. Intel HD graphics, and take a look at the keyboard there. The keyboard, to be honest with you, feels really nice. Uh, you know, when typing, it feels there's no flexing. It feels solid. The keys are a uh, good size. They are not small at all. This is a full size keyboard since it's uh, 11.6 inches. Uh, the uh, mouse pad also, it's a uh, very responsive and also very good size. Now, as far as the battery, it offers eight hours of battery. That's a very decent battery, eight hours. And of course, it uh, depends on uh, the setup. Uh, also, you know, how you're using the uh, brightness for the screen. It might go over 10 hours, I don't know. But here's a look at the uh, web browsing experience. Uh, zoom in and zoom out, the text looks super clear. Now, uh, the tablet comes with uh, Windows 10, which I hate, I don't like Windows 10. Uh, but here's a look at the uh, front-facing camera. Uh, the front-facing camera, it's uh, very basic. Uh, don't expect much. Again, this is a budget uh, system. Uh, mostly the uh, front-facing camera, it's for applications, you know, like uh, video, uh, video calling, uh, like a Skype or something like that. Uh, but of course, you know, you can take pictures and you can do video if you want to. 
uh, but it's mostly for like, you know, web applications, you know, like, uh, like I said, Skype or something similar, maybe uh, Facebook, FaceTime, you know, something like that. Uh, but here's a quick look at the uh, gallery and take a look at the uh, video that I just uh, recorded. Uh, I don't know if the video is in high definition, to be honest with you, but it looks uh, really clear. It looks uh, really nice. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try to the uh, speakers and also using uh, Cortana so we can test uh, the quality of the audio coming out of the uh, speakers. I'm not sure about that because, yeah, as you guys uh, saw before, the speakers are located on the uh, bottom here of the uh, computer. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go ahead and open Cortana. All right, there she is. What's the weather like? It's currently 47 and cloudy. How old is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is 54 years old. What's the weather like in Hawaii? Right now, it's 80 and partly cloudy in Honolulu. To be honest with you, the audio actually sounds better now that I turn up uh, the volume. Uh, it doesn't sound loud, but it sounds clear. I think it's enough if you are, you know, close to a computer or working with a computer. All right, let's go ahead and play some uh, music here. I mean, uh, on YouTube right now, uh, let's go ahead and access this uh, royalty-free music. And as you can see, it opened the pages are uh, pretty good. I'm using the Internet Explorer. Uh, let's start with this uh, song here. I'm not going to bring the computer close to you guys because I want you to hear the music like if you were using the computer. Like I said, the speakers are underneath the computer. I can hear everything clearly. It's not too loud, but I think it's perfect. If you are working with the computer in front of the computer, you shouldn't have any issues to hear audio. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Halloween to everybody and take a look at the new Acer Aspire R11. Really good system for only $249. Thanks for watching friends. Subscribe for more videos. Like this video and share it. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.